All right, welcome to this lecture on current and resistance, uh, pertaining specifically to resistivity. Uh, I may have brought this up, I'm not entirely sure, being that it was so many weeks ago, but I just wanted to give a quick overview of it. Let's start with a couple equations to review. Uh, Ohm's law, the definition of current density, and recall that voltage is electric field separated by some distance. So the things we're going to do a little bit of algebra, we'll look at resistance as V over I, and ultimately current as current density times the area that it's moving through. So let's take a look at a section of wire. The wire has cross-sectional area A and length L. If we hook that up to a voltage source, that will produce a current in the wire. So resistivity is defined as the resistance times the length of the wire. So it's going to carry units of ohm meters. Let's look at our derivation. We'll start with resistance, remembering that current can also be explained as current density times area. We'll substitute that in. Remembering that voltage can be looked at as an electric field separated by a distance. We will then substitute that in. In its most generic form, area can be looked at as a distance squared. Using it in its simplest form, that will reduce if I distribute the distance to the other side the resistance times the distance, or a length in this case, becomes the definition of resistivity. So therefore, resistivity can just be looked at as an electric field over the current density. So here we have that definition of electric field over current density. Keep in mind that those quantities are actually vectors. I've just looked at them as magnitudes to keep it simple. The electric field will be moving from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. It will be in the direction of the current, as would be the current density. And those two things are really just dot producted to produce the scalar quantity of resistivity. So if we simplify just looking at the magnitude, Remembering again that voltage is electric field times distance. So really what I'm looking at here is the electric field times the length of the wire that I'm dealing with. So the electric field can just be the voltage over the length of wire and that current density is current over area. I can substitute these back into my definition of resistivity now as electric field over current density. Simplifying the expressions separating the V over I so that I realize that is resistance. So the resistivity is the resistance of the wire times the cross-sectional area over the length. What I will ultimately do with that is solve that for resistance. So I can make that resistivity times the length of the wire over the cross-sectional area. This comes about for a couple reasons. So the, the resistance is a function of the electrons and their drift speed bouncing into other things as they move through the wire. So the larger the cross-sectional area, the bigger the wire, the less likely those valence electrons are to bump into things. Um, the longer the wire, the higher the probability that they will hit something, which is where that ratio comes from. So knowing the resistance as a function of that length is particularly useful. Um, this is not something you typically have to memorize. I pulled this chart from your book. Uh, here is a list of resistivities for certain materials. Uh, if you know what you're building, you typically look that up, multiply that by whatever length of wire. Um, this is one of the reasons that our power grid loses a lot of energy because we have insanely long lengths of wire that we pump energy across.